Number 83. A chemistry student is 159 centimeters tall and weighs 45.8 kilograms. What is her weight in inches and weight in pounds? Sorry, what is her height in inches and weight in pounds? Okay, so looks like we just have to convert here, right? They told us that the chemistry student, uh, student the height was 159 centimeters tall and the weight was 45.8 kilograms and they want to know what the height is in inches so it looks like we just have to convert centimeters into inches and then kilograms to pounds so that's lbs so it's just two direct conversions so let's give it a go let's start with the height so i want to convert 159 centimeters into inches and do I know a direct conversion between centimeters and inches? Yes, I do, right? If we look at the length, we see that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So I'm going to use this conversion to go from centimeters to inches. So, right, what you're given, 159 centimeters times by the ratio, centimeters goes on the opposite side, inches goes on the top, and it tells me that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, centimeters cancel, and we just do our straight division. 159 divided by 2.54. 159 divided by 2.54. You get 62 point, we'll say, 598. But we just need to get the correct number of sig figs. There are three sig figs in 159. Remember, you only take what you're given as sig figs. So there's three sig figs here. So we just need three sig figs at the end. So six, two, and five. The nine will, however, round that five up to a six. So the height is now 62.6 inches because that was the unit that was left over. So that's the answer to the first part, 62.6 inches. Okay, so this part is 62 0.6 inches. Now we just got to find out what the student's weight is in pounds. So 45.8 kilograms kg into pounds, LBS. Do we know a direct conversion for that? Yes, we do. We look at the mass and we see that one kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds. So I'm going to use this conversion to set it up. So Let's get going, 45.8 kilograms times by a ratio, kilograms goes on the opposite side, pounds goes up on top, and according to this, one kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds, kilograms cancel out, you are left with pounds, which is what we want, so we just got to do the math, 45.8 times 2.2046 and we get basically 100, 100.97 pounds, but we need the correct number of sig figs. There are three sig figs here. So my answer should have three sig figs at the end. So 100, but then the nine rounds the zero up to a one. So it would be 101 pounds, LBS. And that is your final answer. So this is 101 LBS, 101 pounds. So that is her height in inches, 62.6 inches, and her weight in pounds is 101 pounds. So awesome, guys. This one was pretty straightforward. You just got to use those conversions. Um, if this helped, give this uh, video a like. Tell us about it in the comments. And if you want to know more about the new questions coming up, hit that subscribe button. We got plenty coming to you. I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.